I'm here with Golden Boy Scout, and today he's gonna learn the down. So I suspect that if I take a good treat, like a piece of cheese or chicken, and go from his nose down to the ground, he'll give me a down eventually. Um, I don't think he has a real understanding of what down means, and I don't think he'd do it on command, because I've tried many times. Down. 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 Lie down. I'm going to say down. As I say down, I'll put on the e-collar pressure, held. Low level, seven. He just barely feels that tap, tap, tap. And then I'm going to give the hand signal. At the same time, I'll take my boot and pull down gently. You don't want to slam your dog to the ground on the prong, which is facing down, to give him an idea of which direction I want him to move. He's pretty fluent on his prong, so he knows that when I go this way, he should go this way. When I go that way, he should go that way. When I pull up, he should sit. And down is just the final piece of that puzzle. So, all in one, down, pressure, pull him down. And then when he gets down, all the pressure goes away. Good boy! Good job! So you're not pulling him down with the prong. You gave him the suggestion of which way to go. And then when he gets down there, good boy. He found some crumb to eat. Wow, he just rewarded himself. Great job. So down, e-collar pressure, and then the hand signal, and then the prong guidance. I'm using my foot because I only have two hands and they're pretty busy. Good job. And it also keeps my face out of his face in case he decides I don't want to do this and snaps back, which any dog's capable of, even though he's a sweet golden. He's a sweetheart. He's doing great staying down there. If he did pop up, I would say N-O, and then repeat again, pull him back down, and then wait till he's successful, and then release him with a break. Yay! You're such a smart dog. Down. Color pressure. Got him down. All the pressure goes away. He gets praise. Good boy. And you do want to mark, you want to say good the second that he's down, and then you release the pressure. Very good. Good boy. I should be able to step away without him getting up. Good. Good. Break. Very nice. You are so clever. You are so clever. Down, pressure, and press. No leash guidance there. Good boy. Good boy. That's a thinker. Good job. I do want him looking at my hand though for guidance. So I want to make sure he sees it. Good. Good boy. Break. Well done. And again. Down. Again, no leash pressure. He's thinking for himself. He's watching my hand for guidance. Good job. Eye contact. Break. Yay! So smart. One thing I like to do before I end the first down session is do a distance down. So I have him tied back to my door there. I'm going to stand a few feet away. Ask him to down, put the pressure on, give him the hand signal. So he really needs to be looking at my hand and thinking for himself. Good boy. Ready? Down. Good. Good job. Take those numbers down a little bit. Break! Yay! Finish! Down. 